Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about mixer snapshots. So these were introduced a few versions of Cubase ago and they allow you to, as the name suggests, take a snapshot of your mixer setting. So this can be useful particularly when you want to maybe make a radical change to your mix and you're not sure whether or not you're going to stick with it. It's one way of being able to deal with just switching between the two and you can audition those changes pretty quickly. So make sure you've got the left zone open and that's controlled here if you've not got it open and you go to snapshots and this is where they will be listed. So what we're gonna do is just take a snapshot and you do that with the camera here. Now, if we click this, a snapshot appears. We can rename it by double clicking here. So we'll just call it initial mix, let's say. And then we can make a bunch of changes. So let's just randomly make a pig's ear of this mix by changing a whole load of stuff. So you can see this, that, and the other are going on, and we're going to turn the, just bypass those compressors, etc. So there's that next one. And now I can make another snapshot there. I'll name that attempt one. There we go. And to change between the two, you just effectively click this little sort of play button here, the little triangle. So we'll click this and we get a warning. And this warning says, recalling a mix console snapshot will delete any insert automation. This is not totally true. What it means is if you've removed a plugin, then the automation will be gone. So this is something to be aware of. So I'm just going to click OK. So you can see there we've gone to that version of the mix. And then if we click this, we go back to the other one. So you can flip between them very quickly. This is a quick tips video. Obviously, there's more to this than this. But if you want to change that inserts, the way that I get around this is most of the time I don't want to play with the inserts and I don't want to risk losing something by doing something stupid. I do lots of stupid things. So if we go to recall settings here, if you untick inserts and then click OK, and now it won't be storing those. So obviously these ones have got the inserts stored in there, but any more you do, it won't mess with the inserts. So you won't risk losing insert automation and you won't get that message. I know you can turn the message off, but I'd much rather it didn't do something bad in the background. There's more to come on this, but this is just a brief introduction to snapshots. So as ever, hope you found that useful and we'll see you again soon for more music tech tuition.